Hello everyone, Relgan here with a GM level CVC and today I want to talk to you a little bit about pool first openers especially on the map Daybreak it's one of the largest maps but we're gonna go for a pool first opener anyways and we'll see how it plays out so at 17 supply I built the pool hatch and then the gas this is pretty much what you see from my CVT opener as well it's almost an exact copy and then I put, built three drones, put them in the gas, so it's all very much like my CVC. You could also skip these three drones and I'll try to make a video about it um, a little bit later. You could skip these three drones and instead go for six things and do a bit of counter pressure. I'll try to talk about that tomorrow actually. But today we're going to look at how our CVT opener performs in the CVC matchup. So in this game my opponent actually went for a very very similar opener. He has one drone less on the mineral so his income is a little bit smaller if you look at the income at the top left. But that doesn't really matter too much. I was a little bit surprised that he also went pool first because usually I'm the only guy who's actually going for these builds. He plays a little bit different of a variation going for the evolution chamber into carapace upgrade I believe. So I'm harassing him a little bit with my drone and um, doing the good stuff. At home, around the 3 minute mark I threw down the lair. I skip link speed because I don't really need it. I built uh, the first queen from my main, I moved to the natural and I built two additional queens, one in the main, one in the natural. I just kept on mining gas so I had a little bit of over gas but I don't need a lair too soon and right now seemed like a good timing. So because I saw that his pool wasn't moving, I'm not too scared of a big link flood early on. So I threw down the Roach Warn and the Evolution Chamber around the 315 mark, which is about as late as you can get. You should try to take both gases at the very latest at 330. Usually you take the second gas a little bit earlier, but I take both gases around the 330 mark. And once I have my mineral patches saturated, I saturate my gas as well. Now, here comes a little bit of a mix-up, right? So I go for two evolution chambers on this map. The second one is just for walling off. I'm building the roach one and the evolution chamber, so it looks like a two-base roach push. And a two-base roach push uses three uh, gases, but I think I'm gonna go for the fourth gas. Yes, exactly. And I'm also throwing down the spire as soon as my lair finished. Uh, right, now, uh, right now I would want to go for a scout on his base and uh, see what he's actually going for. Sadly he kills my overlord so that's not possible. I could morph this one over here but I kind of wanted to actually know what my opponent is doing in terms of aggression. So I see that he's moving out. I got two bases saturated so I'm starting to build some roaches as I want to take my third. Now the roaches are kind of a fake out and kind of not a fake out. I need the roaches to put on a little bit of pressure on him, but I mostly want to get out some mutalisks so he cannot commit to an attack on me, and it will force a reaction from him. So the mutalisks are here and immediately we see him move across the map, building additional queens because he's like panicking like, oh my god, mutalisks are coming. We all hate uh, having to deal with mutas in the CVC matchup. Right here you see why I built the second evolution chamber to wall off a little bit. I'm going through this rather fast. Um, I don't want to lose my third base so I move around over there a little bit and also in my mate natural. Once my plus one attack finished I got the plus two missile attack and the carapace upgrade. Since I only need three gases for the three base roach production I have a little bit of over gas that I can spend on additional upgrades and things like that. But I clean up his push rather handily. And right now I'm already way ahead, like the game is pretty much over. He tried or he expected me to go for a standard roach push but I went for a little bit different of a roach push. So my mutalisks are... Like it's hard to describe what the mutalisks are actually there for. I think I kind of use them like I do in the CVC matchup where I use the mutalisks to clean out overlords and to do a little bit of damage wherever I can but I don't really... And of course to so force anti-air queens and hydras from my opponent. But I don't really plan to go mass mutas. I just, they're kind of a distraction. They cost quite a bit, I mean 5 mutalisks inclusive, uh, including the spire cost me about 750 minerals, 700 gas. And some lost mining time, a larva, 
things like that. What I'm going for is a rather quick fourth base as a follow up as well. I take both gases, usually you only want to take one gas if you're going for a roach build. But because I also have mutalisks and I would like to keep the option to go mass muta or even to lurker or hydra open. So I take both gases instead. I also have a bit of an advantage and I think it's safer to just get the additional gases out right now. So the mutalists haven't actually killed a single drone, I believe. They killed a couple overlords, I'm not sure, can I check that? And well, I killed one drone, but I think that was uh, earlier on. If you look at the unit's lost tap, however, you really see what the game is looking like. So I'm building up a big roach push. I'm getting the hydra speed at home, just so I have a safe transition so I don't die. I have two bases saturated, move drones from my natural to my fourth. Income wise, 67 workers, about as many as you need in CVC and then I just A move and kill him because I was already ahead. But this was just one example of how the game can play out. Of course this is not a perfect game for, for me and definitely not for my opponent as he made quite a few mistakes and was caught off guard but I'm here to try and show you a bit of strategy and I'll have another CVC video about pretty much the same thing ready tomorrow in case you want to swing by again. So thank you all for watching. If you're looking for the replay, it's down there in the description. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.